Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week in celebration of Flag Day, we will be making an American flag cake. Now last week, I taught you how to make red and blue velvet cupcakes, and we will be using those same recipes for this cake, except, you know, we're not making cupcakes. And we will be making white cake in addition to this and putting it all together. And so I'm not going to film myself mixing the batters and everything because you know how I made the red and blue velvet cake last week when I made the red and blue velvet cupcakes. So you're just going to see the assembly today. So I know that Flag Day isn't really celebrated that much, um, but it still is very important to our history. It is the day that's supposed to celebrate when our flag officially became our flag, hence my flag t-shirt that I got from the Smithsonian. And it is also my paternal grandmother's birthday, and she is a big influence on why my family is the way it is, why we have the values we have, and I want to celebrate her as well. And so that's why I'm doing this. So now that all our cakes have been baked, our next step is to assemble them. And to do this, we are going to be using this frosting in a can that I got from Kroger. Make sure it's perfectly centered or it will slide around and fall apart, like my last cake.
What good boy present. Our cake is completely assembled, so I am going to put it in the fridge and in a few hours I will be putting the crumb topping and finishing touches on it. Now after 10 to 15 minutes in the freezer and overnight in the refrigerator, we are going to apply the crumb topping. So now our crumb coat is done, now I'm going to put it in the freezer for 5 minutes or however long it takes for the icing to be firm to the touch. Now that our cake has been in the freezer for a while, I am going to start icing it. I'm going to put this in the fridge so it doesn't drip everywhere like my last attempt did. So the red and white stripes weren't working out so I just kind of gave up on that and did sort of a red and white ombre. But what's really more important is what's on the inside of this cake. on the inside. It's very messy, but you can see the red, white, and blue very clearly. And here's a better view. Okay, that's all for today, guys. I'll see you next time in my tutorial for Father's Day.